Are you looking for ways that Total Gym can offer you a better shoulder workout? I have found there are some really creative functional exercises using the Total Gym that are a bit unique to my style of training. So I'm excited to be able to share these with you. We're going to start with the least intense exercises first, so be sure to perform only the ones you feel most comfortable with. Add these to your regular workout and you're going to get stronger and also be less susceptible to injury. Let's start with a nice warm up off the total gym using the middle setting and only the weight of the glide board. So I'm just going to grab one handle and start with a front shoulder raise. By only having the glide board's weight, this is actually a pretty easy exercise to start with, so it's a good warm up. And if I had an injury, it would also be really good to use this as a, as a form of physical therapy. By switching hands, I can do my side lat raise. And while I have just a little bit of resistance going, this exercise can also be performed uh, as a good rotator cuff workout. So rotator cuffs are very important for golf, hockey, baseball, basketball, a lot of different sports. And we actually train with using this exercise a lot. Um, during the season and also in the off season. But I would recommend it for pretty much everybody. Okay. Next, I'm gonna grab both handles, take a seated position at the top of the glide board and just roll myself comfortably back. So my back is resting against the glide board and I have my feet and my head all very comfortable. I can start with a side lat raise this really isolates my shoulders and then go right to a front raise. And what makes the total gym very unique and functional is that I can go into circles. So outside going in and then straight up and going out. This is great because my shoulders are active the entire time while I'm doing these motions. Okay. Once I'm up, I'm going to spin around. Grab both handles, face away from the tower, take a seated position at the top of the glide board, and I'm gonna do my front raises, but in a modified position. Therefore, I'm gonna keep my feet on the ground. So those of you who are new to the total gym, or maybe beginners as far as training, I'm allowing my feet to support me through this movement. So it's rather easy to do, but I'm keeping the correct form. Once I'm used to that, I can place my feet up on the glide board for more intensity. Now, just like before, I can add some circles to this as well. Okay, now, after the seated position, I'm gonna go into a couple more advanced uh, positions using the Total Gym that are really gonna intensify the shoulder workout. If you're comfortable with the seated position and some of the drills that we did earlier, stick with those. Uh, if you're able to go a little bit further, I'm gonna show you a kneeling position, uh, shoulder raise. So I'm gonna anchor myself on the total gym by placing one hand on the glide board, one leg down, and placing the other leg down and go into a kneeling position. By leaning back up against my feet, I'm pretty stable. So the front raise is not too bad. If I want to intensify this, just go to a, a more of a straight up kneeling position, and it's much more intense. So that covers pretty much the front raise. I'm going to switch this over to a side raise. So again, I'm going to anchor myself to the glide board, go to a kneeling position, and establish that side lateral raise. Much more difficult than when I was anchored to the glide board. Great. Okay, next I'm gonna to go to a standing position. So this is gonna be more advanced. Great for athletes, it's more functional. Uh, please be careful and use caution when doing this. I'm gonna use one handle. I'm gonna place it with my right hand and anchor down to the glide board and just go into a lunge position. So once I have this lunge position, I'm going to flip my hand over next to my side and that's going to go straight up with my front shoulder raise. Once I'm comfortable with that, 
I'm going to go to a lunge with the front shoulder raise. So up with the lunge, up with the shoulder, and down. So I feel this in my legs as well as my shoulder. Okay, anchor back down, and I'm going to pivot over to a squat, switch hands, now have my side lateral raise from a squat position. Again, this is more of an advanced move, so please use caution before you try this. And when you get off of the glide board, please make sure you anchor yourself down, go back to a stable position, one foot off at a time, and that's the correct way to do it. Uh, next, we're gonna do a shoulder press. So I'm gonna remove the pulley from the glide board. This is also a pretty advanced move. Um, if you want to keep stay in the plank position, you're fine with that. But I'm going to use a press position after that, which is a little more advanced. I'm going to place my hands at the base of the glide board. Offers a little more stability for my hands. I'm going to put my knees at the middle of the glide board and just go up into a plank. If you're comfortable with that and that's good for you, then just stick with that. I'm going to get down to a push-up position, but instead of doing a push-up, I'm going to do a press. So it really activates my core as well as my shoulders. Do this a few times. Feels great. And I'll just bring my knees back to that stable position. And those are some great shoulder exercises that you can incorporate into your routine. Do it two or three times a week. Please don't forget to do the rotator cuff exercises. Those are important for everybody. And uh, have a great workout, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.